The Wrap-Up on News Channel 10. Welcome into week seven of The Wrap-Up. I'm Loris Liska alongside Paige Saxe. I can't believe we are over halfway I through the know. regular season. It has happened so fast. We've been having a good time, so I guess I guess that's Loving some great highlights. <laughs> Man, but we've got a great rivalry game to share tonight. Yeah, the Emerald High Sandies and the Tascosa Rebels faced off for the 65th time in program history. The District 2 5A Division 1 matchup is always a close one. Now, last year, the Rebels overcame a 27 point deficit and won 28 to 7. Now, I wish I was here for that one. <laughs> so let's go over at Dick Biven Stadium. Fans pack the stands for the competitive rivalry game, a meeting that's been decided by seven or less points points since 2015. First quarter, ball on the 19. Brockway drops back, heaves a shot to the end zone and finds Jamison Garcia. The Sandys are up 6 to 0. Second quarter, following a fourth down stop, Tascosa's Major Everhard breaks a few tackles. It's a foot race. He's got Sandys lineman Eric Gray to beat. 76-yard touchdown for the Rebels. Tascosa is up 13 to 6. Later, Sandys go for a 50-yard field goal. Rebels block it. Latravion Brown picks up the loose ball, follows his blocks, rounds the right side, turns on the Jets, cuts back inside, and the Rebels are up 19 to 6. And Tascosa wins 34 to 22, improving their district record to 2 and 0. And Lance Lawner caught up with the winners. Hey, I'm Lance Lawner right here at Dick Biven Stadium. We just played the 65th annual. Emerald High Tascosa game. The Rebels come out ahead 34 22. We've got head coach Ken Plunk with us and senior quarterback BT Daniel. Ken, a, a fast start for you guys tonight, and then you kind of had to hang on a little bit. But your thoughts on the game? Well, we did. We, we had a great fast start in the first half, uh, blocked two kicks. Uh, offense played well, defense played great. We were really feeling good. Third quarter, we kind of hit a lull. Put it on the ground a couple of times, which we're not. Uh, we don't do a lot. Uh, we very rarely do that. Uh, but our kids responded with a great defensive stop and a great drive uh, in the fourth. Yeah, and BT Daniel, obviously, the offense got going. Emerald High scores first, and then you guys answered right away. Did you think that set the tone and helped you guys continue to score points tonight? Oh, yeah, for sure, because doing that, I feel like it just was a tone shifter, and it went towards our way, and that we are just able to ride it on from there. Hey, this is your senior year here. What's the vibe like when you play in a game like this? Oh, it feels great. Atmosphere is amazing. You don't like football if you don't want to play in this. I like that. I like that a lot. Coach Plunk, happy birthday. Uh, they, the guys sang to you. They did. Uh, what, what do you rate their singing ability? Well, it's uh, they play football better, but I was really, I didn't care how it sounded. I was just excited uh, and you know happy to spend my birthday with those guys. Yeah, yeah. The, the Rebs rank seventh in the state, continue to roll undefeated in district. So, uh, great game, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, let's take it back to the, the wrap-up. We've got Larissa and Paige. Have a great night, ladies. Now, happy birthday to Coach Plunk. Probably the best gift that he could receive. But if you missed the Emerald High and Tascosa game or Andrews at Canyon matchup and would like to watch the entire 90 minutes of both games, do not forget to check it out tomorrow on Saturday at 1 and 4 p.m. The game will air on News Channel 10, too. Now, Randall, coming into their first district game, the Raiders have had their ups and downs this season. Let's see how they fare tonight. Now, we'll go and see Raiders Braxton Bird takes a snap, fakes a handoff and a throw to Colby Marting, and he's in the end zone. And Randall goes up on the board 7-0. Now, old high responds fourth down hands off to Bryson Volpondo he trucks it down the field and gets inside the 15 and is stopped there now we'll move on to Valapondo takes the snap carries it himself to the house tied game in the first quarter now Braxton with the sly handoff to Jordy Hernandez he bobs and weaves it's first down for the Raiders now the Raiders will get the win 31 to 14. Congratulations to Randall. Now, this week was college commitment week for a few of our top high school football recruits. Spearman senior Brennan Thompson had a big 12 decision to make on Wednesday. His college football choices were narrowed down to Texas A&M, Oklahoma State, and the University of Texas. Let's take a look at his selection. Obviously, the coaching staff that has um, pushed me to be you know, the best I can be. So, with that being said, let's go. Oakland. 
Thompson is expected to play wide receiver and more at the University of Texas. But the 5'10", 165-pound four-star athlete is an overall playmaker for the Spearman Lynx. Here are his overall stats at Spearman so far. He's rushed for 2,280 yards and 34 touchdowns, passed for 1,182 yards and 15 touchdowns, and tallied nearly 2,000 receiving yards and 14 touchdowns. Plus, last season he finished second at state in the 100-meter dash and first in the 200 meters for Class 3A. Thompson held 36 offers, and here's why he chose the Texas Longhorns. I just feel like I can get in there, um, use my speed, use my playmaking ability to just make a difference. You know, when I went this this past this past game day, it, it felt like home. Um, they showed up, they treat me like family. They've uh, treated me like family since day one. Um, very, uh, very grateful for the, um, the staff treating me like family. And it's, you know, it's just everything I have is there, everything I want's there, and that was it. Thompson made his decision as soon as he got back from the official visit. He'll also compete for the Longhorns in track and field. While at UT, Thompson plans on studying sports medicine. Now on Thursday, the Tascosa Rebels celebrated a major decision for the three-star running back, Major Everhart. He announced his college commitment in front of his teammates and the entire school at the pep rally. Now Everhart narrowed his choices to three, Notre Dame, Texas Tech, and TCU. Everhart joins head coach Gary Patterson and the Horn Frogs next season. The 5'11 senior will more than likely play a slot receiver running back hybrid for the purple and white. At Tascosa, he's currently averaging almost 20 yards per carry and 30 yards per reception. Everhart is the 11th commitment for TCU, and here's how he made his decision. I figured out this past Monday, just going to the game this past weekend as well, TCU versus Texas, I felt right at home and I had a lot of family down there. And so that just made me feel a lot, a lot better. Just being down there with them, being able to have support from them made my decision a whole lot easier to go to TCU. They like my speed, but other than that, they also like my character on and off the field as well. They like my grades and just who I am as a person. Yeah, my mom's birthday was today, so that was a special day for me as well. And I hope it was as special as, as it was for me for her. In the spring at TCU, Everhart will sprint for the track team. And as a junior at Tascosa, he finished fifth at state for 5A in the 200 meters and sixth in the 100 meter dash. Now let's check out our play of the week from our game of the week. Amber High's 50-yard field goal attempt blocked by the Rebels. Tascosa's Latravion Brown stays alert and picks up the loose ball. But you got to give credit to his teammates for blocking a downfield hustling. And Brown is able to take this one to the house. That was a huge momentum boost for Tascosa that helped the Rebels win 34-22. to and hey fans, if you took any cool photos or videos from the game, send them our way to newschannel10.com or, te or Texas Panhandle Sports Network or scan the nifty QR code on your screen below. You can even upload videos during the game and if you capture a cool celebration shot, you might even see it on the wrap up. Stay with us for more highlights starting with 4A coming up after the break. We're the Tasco Sabels and you're watching the wrap -up.